This is another kind of devices or robots that we'll see very often nowadays already like in shopping malls. I don't know if you've ever seen them. These sensors here are the moving sensors and they feel when somebody is approaching a certain distance. This is if I do it fast. But if I do it slowly, it will just stretch like this. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the beautiful city of Xi'an and today we'll be visiting a few companies related to technology and innovation. So come with me and let's explore what we have here in Xi'an. And we're checking a company that is in charge of developing and manufacturing robots. You can see this is like a robotic arm that is doing a lot of different tasks. Actually, he can make six different tasks with this wheel on the top. The first one will be like cutting out different kind of shapes. You can see here, uh, it's making kind of a triangle and all different kind of shapes. Here, we also have different kind of robotic arms. As you can see, they are making different kind of uh, tasks of different level of complexity. So in the other side, we can see another of a bigger size that of course will make something more specialized and not as simple as the first one we saw. So I think it's kind of cool seeing all these kind of technologies uh, that are improving the manufacturing tasks nowadays. We don't need that many people to manufacture or create different kind of products, but now we're transitioning more and more into robotics and automatic processes. As you can see, we have a lot of different kind of machines that are making our life easier. Every process is now faster and more efficient. Robots are now being taken to every single field. Even for education, we have here like a little robot that it will be like very friendly with the kids, kind of helping them how to learn, maybe learn English or different kind of skills. There is a little screen here that you can manipulate the information. Of course, it's a little bit in Chinese, but you can see it's kind of telling a story about something and it's like a humanoid a figure that will make it more friendly for kids to use. If it's too loud, you want to see it, just touch your head and it will stop just like that. So it's pretty cool seeing also this kind of uh, devices. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for regular homes to have these kind of devices. I'm assuming at first you will see it in places like schools or training centers, uh, kind of making more interactive the education and learning process. This is another kind of devices or robots that we'll see very often nowadays already like in shopping malls. I don't know if you've ever seen them. Uh, in different floors of the shopping mall, you have these kind of humanoid figures where you can have access to all the information and you can even interact with the robot. Like you can ask them questions and the robot will have these voice recognition devices so it can understand what you're saying and reply you where is the restaurant, where is the toilet or where are the different places in the shopping mall. So nowadays I can see we have more and more often this kind of uh, robotic devices all around or every single places of our daily life you will see this kind of robot so pretty cool now at Kowa Robot. This is a place that is designing and manufacturing street electric cleaners and you can see here in this screen we have units already working in real time. So in this screen they have the ability to keep track of all the cleaners that are around the city. This is located in Anhui province but this is a real-time map where you can see all the different devices that are actually working. Through this computer they have access to all these uh, machineries uh, and actually you can see here there is a live camera showing what is in front of them. All these equipments and all these devices are equipped with movement sensors. So of course, if somebody is passing by or another car, it will stop automatically and it will not crash against them. So 
all these uh, automatic cleaners, they come with the latest robotics technology and sensors in order not to cause any accidents. So they are proven to be very safe to work on the street. I'm really impressed because I thought there were some places they have just prototypes or only working in parks, but you can see in the map they are actually working already on the streets in actual cities. So later we're going to check if we will have access to the actual machinery. These electric cleaners are very similar to the Baidu ones that I visited one time at the Apollo Park in Guangzhou. I made another video about those uh, electric vehicles, automatic electric vehicles, because there's no person operating them, but they just work by themselves with instructions pre-established. I will leave the link down below so you can go ahead and take a look to that video and let me know your comments in the comment section. So we're here checking and trying one of these automatic cleaners. It's already on the street and we're actually testing one of the sensors or some of the moving sensors it has because it's located on the corners. So if it's moving and somebody is passing by, it will automatically stop so it won't crash them. We can see here it's already stopped because it, there is a lot of people around the little car so it will not keep moving. If we move far from it, it will keep just going ahead and cleaning. So it's proven to be a very safe device. They have passed all the different safety tests in order to be on the street already working. You can see here, these sensors here are the moving sensors and they feel when somebody is approaching a certain distance. They also have some cameras on the top so it can monitor in real time what is the moving and what is the route that it has to go around and cleaning on the street. I break it in just two pieces if I do it fast. But, but, if I do it slowly, it will just stretch like this. And right now we are visiting another company that is uh, mostly like a service place, right? If you have an idea here in China, if you're a young talent, if you just graduated from university and you want to establish your own company to have your own ideas and design your own products, there are a lot of these kind of companies all around China that will help you to establish your business and let you grow and even protect your ideas with copyright systems. Being a young talent, maybe you won't have access to uh, financial services or maybe the capital to establish your business. They can even help you here to obtain some credits and some loans from banks and even the government to help you make your companies. The Chinese economy is booming, it's growing and they're really focusing and thinking in the future. They want to know that in the future, all these young talents and innovators will have some kind of help to make, create their products and their companies. So their ideas will be part of the Chinese economy in the future. You know, they always make these kind of renders to give you an idea how this area will look in the future because they were telling me this area is like brand new. Actually, this building was open just last year. But here you can see 
how the area will look like in the next coming years. You have a huge city, a huge metropolis with high rise buildings, a lot of parks and trees, and that is the way I like. And I'm pretty sure, I have no doubt, in the next years, even though this is just a render, it will look very similar to this. Maybe after a few years, we will come back here and take a look if it actually looks like this or not. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.